up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make a battery. So basically we're building one of the oldest types of batteries that ever existed. They're called a voltaic pile. Maybe a bit impractical for a battery, but by definition, it is a battery. It wasn't until 1800 when Alessandro Volta created the first electric battery, and essentially this is how he did it. He created stacks of different types of metals separated by a, an acid-soaked solution. That's where we get the name Voltaic Pile from Alessandro Volta. He was a pretty cool dude. And it's thanks to him that we have wonderful things nowadays like our smartphones that we can look up information powered by, you guessed it, a battery. And you can find batteries pretty much everywhere. In fact, the camera that I'm using to make this video is running off battery power. I wonder what Volta would have thought about the idea of a rechargeable battery, because back then, it was assumed that you could build this battery and it would last for a while, but once all the electricity was depleted from it, you'd have to start over again with new materials. So to build this voltaic pile, this battery, we're gonna need a few things. We have to have some copper pennies, some zinc washers, some pieces of cardboard, and I'll warn you, the cardboard takes quite a while to cut all these little pieces out, but it's worth it. We might also need some wire, and of course we'll need some way to test our battery, so I've got a multimeter here. Once we get the cardboard pieces cut out, we need to soak them in some vinegar, that way they'll gain a little bit of conductivity. Cardboard in itself is just an insulator, and soaking it in the vinegar, which is a dilute acid, will actually provide a method for the ions to travel through the cells. So the basic idea here is that we need to layer things. We're going to start with a copper penny, and then we'll put a piece of this cardboard, which we're soaking in vinegar. After that goes on a zinc washer, another layer of cardboard, and that completes one cell of the battery. Now if we stack multiple cells together, we should be able to get a little bit more voltage out of the battery and possibly make it useful. Well, I stacked up about nine cells and we're getting uh, pretty close to 1.8 volts, which is good. Uh, in fact, it's a lot better than I expected. I tried some LEDs and I tried some electric motors. Nothing will power off this thing. So I think the problem is we're getting quite a bit of voltage out of these, but they just really don't carry much current. And it's actually the current that provides power for things. It's, it's the current that allows things to work or for motors to turn or light bulbs to light up. Not so much the voltage. And really, with a little more patience, maybe you might have some better luck, but it gets pretty tedious stacking these layers of small things and the card the, the cardboard gets ridiculously hard to get out of here once it's all soaked and saturated with vinegar and then they just they fall apart and it's really kind of a pain. And I suppose maybe the washer size might make a difference. I'm using washers that are actually smaller than the penny, and I think if they were the same size, that might help too. But we were able to build a battery. We got a little bit of electricity out of it, just not really enough to do anything with, or maybe I just don't have the right stuff that I need to power with such a low voltage, low current battery. But we were able to measure a voltage from it, so I suppose that qualifies as a battery. 
All right guys, so I know that was kind of a short video and you know, we weren't really able to power anything, but we did build a battery, so I think we'll call that good for now. Maybe we can build a little better battery some other time. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do want to say a huge thank you for everything that you guys are doing, all the videos you guys have been watching. Uh, I've noticed my subscriber count going up quite a bit and that's cool and I want to keep that rolling. So I've got some things that I'm working on for a couple videos in the future that should be pretty exciting. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button down there. And if it's your first time here, don't forget to hit that little subscribe button down in the corner. And if you've got some great ideas on how to improve this battery, leave a little comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Maybe there's a newer method or a different technique that I'm not aware of. This is kind of an old school method for creating a very simplistic battery or voltaic pile. Maybe you've found a better way. If so, please share. I'd love to see it and maybe we'll try it out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time. And now everything smells like vinegar. Ugh.